You can imagine what's going on throughout the companies and government agencies uh, that are dealing with the, uh, the fact that they've got these motherboards inside their data centers uh, and they don't know exactly what they've been used for. They're trying to go back and reconstruct exactly uh, what information may have leaked out these back doors and uh, where it may have been, where it may have gone, and what damage may have been done as a result of that. There's so much uh, that's going to be unknown here, even though this investigation, as Business Week lays out, has been going on for years inside the intelligence community. And we just saw Mike Pence the vice president uh, make a speech at the Hudson Institute today the conservative group here in Washington uh, Pence putting this sort of Chinese hacking uh, as part of a broader constellation of complaints by the US government which is now taking a very aggressive rhetorical stance against the Chinese government the vice president saying that uh, this is all part of an effort on, on the part of the Chinese government to leap ahead of the United States economically and in terms of geopolitics so there's a very big stage that this is all playing out on See, uh, Eamon, if I'm understanding what the allegations are, and as we just reported, Amazon and Apple say they've not uh, seen any evidence that any of the servers they bought from this company have been compromised. But is the idea that, that compromised chips were installed in the, in the circuitry uh, of these servers and that those chips then caused those servers to report back data uh, electronically to Chinese sources. Yeah, that's right. And the reason it was able to be done by the Chinese government allegedly is because the, the, so much of the supply chain for these uh, parts is in China. So the People's Liberation Army would have had the ability to get into the factories and install the chips right on the premises as they were being, uh, as, the, as the motherboards were being made and then shipped out. Uh, some of these were apparently very, very small. Business Week reporting uh, that, that some of the chips were so tiny they could fit between two slices of fiberglass and just hide there. Or some of them were disguised to look like other components that you would expect to see uh, in that part of the machine, uh, not necessarily standing out as if it's a chip that's out of place. So uh, apparently a very, very sophisticated effort technologically to hide these things uh, inside the servers, uh, inside the motherboards that were then shipped and now are in data centers across the country and, and presumably around the world uh, to, to unknown effect, really. What is amazing, Eamon, is that there's a concern not only, I mean, not, these can be a U.S. company made uh, servers that are shipped to the United States and, and the chip was implanted even before this thing was shrink wrapped and sent to the United States. But here on the ground in the U.S., there are government contractors, uh, and correct me if I'm wrong, who actually dismantle servers that are meant to go into places like the Pentagon and the DOD and they scrub the motherboards for things like this. So it's, it's interesting that somehow these made it allegedly into these particular servers. Well, and part of it is just the effort that went in to disguise them and how small they were and, and where they were put in, in, in place in such a way that they, they resembled other components. It apparently was a very techni technologically sophisticated effort just to find them. Uh, and look, hardware hacking uh, has always been sort of the nightmare of cybersecurity experts, right? Software hacking, you can find. You can look at the code and you can see whether there's been uh, some manipulation there. But the hardware stuff uh, is is just so much so below the radar uh, for most cybersecurity teams uh, that it's very diff difficult to get inside physically to the, all these locations and root out all of this stuff. So what's, once it's in there, uh, it can stay in there for a long time.